Now, there are so many misconceptions regarding the modeling and fashion industry in the country. The career is usually short-lived and models are portrayed negatively. That's why stakeholders in the industry sought to clear the air on it. Here's the story. This picture here of a lady wearing a short black dress and heels was met with a lot of APRO globally early this month. The picture from an advert which appeared in LA UK magazine created by the YSL was immediately banned by the Advertising Standards Authority for allegedly featuring a model with a visible ribcage and knees and thighs of a similar width. The Advertising Authority described the model as unhealthy and underweight. Back home, stakeholders in the fashion industry were also appalled by the image and condemned it. What are we telling the young people who probably have an image problem or are still creating their own identity? That's where the problem is. So we have to be responsible about what to bring out or perhaps be very clear about what the purpose of that promotion was for. Well, the minute I saw the picture, I thought she was dead. So that's my take. <laughs> Suicide. If you try something like that, because in the modeling industry, they don't allow you to go to that land. I don't know how they allow that uh, to even come out. It's, it's quite um, uh, a very bad scene when you have such, yeah. And the best thing is to encourage most of the people to, you know, just eat. International fashion designers prefer to use underweight models. It has been the goal for every model to be as thin as humanly possible. The reason why models would want to be anorexic is so that they can be picked for such kind of jobs. Well, as you know, there are different um, categories of modeling, yeah, and one of them is fit models. And as a fit model, that means you work behind the scenes, you work with the designers. Mm -hmm. You're basically the mannequin of their designer mm -hmm. and um, as a fit model uh, you don't want to be you know you do not you do not want to have extra flesh on you because then the designers wouldn't want you because you're going to consume a lot more garment fashion industry stakeholders in the country however say there's a limit to using models to promote a certain brand an ideal model should be able to possess certain qualities we are looking at a specific size, bust 34 or 32, waist 28, and hips 36, 38 max. Of course, in here in Kenya, we have to, we have no choice, but we go a little bit to yeah. 40. <coughs> because you will find most models are small waist, but their hips are a little bigger. Yeah. But that's our industry, mm -hmm. those are our consumers, and we are able to market or to, to use the models of that size. The modeling industry has been dogged by negative publicity for the longest time. Some agents are known to take advantage of the models. However, some parents prefer to look on the positive side of the career and encourage their children to follow their dreams. What I would advise people is do your research on the agency or the agent before you, you know, take a step of you know joining the agency. Uh, most agents have big time crooks yeah and they're out to either gain money or you know have personal gains which are selfish of course there's a lot of stories that before you reach up there you'll find that uh, there's you you know people you step through to reach there might want to misuse you yes. but it's how you're brought up you can take care of yourself you can decide you want to be a model, but a decent model, mm -hmm. and there's nothing wrong with that. Even though modeling is viewed as a short-term career, one with a very short lifespan, experts believe it's a stepping stone to other great careers. There's a whole barrage of people out there, men and women, who were models, if you look back into their history, and these... Um, this formed the, the, the foundation for where they are today. And it's about being able to equip yourself with enough skills. It's advisable for people to use it as a stepping stone to other careers. Uh, you develop a very good eye 
fashion wise when you're a model you develop confidence when you're a model you develop that stage presence and stuff like that Najma is smile KTN